The Psalms are a wonderful gift to be able to bring us into the mind of God. And as thoughts for personal inspiration, we cannot go past the first Psalm, which starts, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is... Well, let's pause there for a moment. For these words show us the progression of action by those who do not delight in the laws of the Lord. Notice they start by listening to the counsel of the wicked. And this confronts us in so many ways today, especially in this country. After failing to walk past the wicked and ignore the counsel they offer, they stand and look and then end up sitting down with them. So many are following this progression of action. Now look at the second verse. What is the delight of the one who walks past? His delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. The Hebrew word for law is Torah, and it occurs in a lot of scripture in the sense of principles for living. It applies to far more than the letter of the laws that God gave through Moses. But how meaningful is the way Psalm 119 starts? Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole heart. Our Lord Jesus is the ultimate example. Back in the first psalm, we take into our thoughts the third verse, which shows that the one who meditates day and night on God's words is like a tree that yields its fruit in season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. Well, that's the kind of tree we need to be. And look, note this, that these trees are planted by streams of water. God's words are streams of water. And God's Son cried out, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. That's in John chapter 7. And the question is, are you and I thirsty? Our world has become a spiritual desert, but God's word gives us the wonderful experience of being planted by streams of water. Let's not fail to drink from that water every day, and it will then begin to flow out of our heart for the benefit of others as well as ourselves.